Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another weather forecast here by Age with Weather Forecast. This is going to be another update on the potential major windstorm Quincy. Uh, this is definitely going to be a named system. It's going to become a major blizzard and going to bring snow for mainly stretching all the way from Oregon all the way up into far northern Michigan. And the worst of it will be in the northern plains and also into the Rockies. April is the snowiest month throughout these uh throughout these areas at the time of the month so this is definitely gonna be showing that again we're gonna be seeing feet of snow one to possibly three feet of snow of course the heaviest snow will be in the higher elevations and such as wyoming montana and idaho and then we'll be seeing possibly a foot maximum to a foot and a half throughout areas into this north central plains and then going all the way down as to two inches so be sure to subscribe i'm going to be looking at, at detailed radars looking at who can be in the risk and how much snow you'll be getting and also check out the timeline of the snowfall as you ch get closer and closer we'll be looking at more detailed radars so be sure to subscribe we are two subscribers away from 2080 really means a lot if you guys support my channel and also be sure to share this video to any friends or family that you think will need this information but without further ado let's go in this video so we're gonna be looking at the National Weather Service. Could be uh, this uh, the winter weather advisories that we have right now will actually be part of this snowstorm. So we're gonna be seeing some snow, uh, scattered snow showers from now on all the way into the next 36 hours, very scattered. And then after the next 42 hours to 48 hours, it becomes a lot more widespread. And this is all going to be getting a lot more widespread because of the cold front that's going to be pushing it into the west, uh, western United States, which is going to be the reason for all the snow and the reason for this major snowstorm to develop within all this small snow in the higher elevation. So that's why we have these winter weather advisories, warnings, and watches already issued ahead of time. So, again, the heaviest of the snow will be right here where we have these windstorm warnings. We have a windstorm warning for southern Montana and also out there in the counties for uh, areas in the Yellowstone National Park area. We also have a windstorm, windstorm warning throughout far north uh, eastern Oregon and also out there into north, north central Montana. We do have windstorm watches just west of Rapid City and also far northeastern Wyoming. And then we all we have winter weather advisories stretching from North Dakota areas near Bozeman, uh, North Central Montana, uh, far eastern Idaho, and also the sea, uh, higher Sierras out here into Washington and Oregon. Now we're gonna be looking at the radar again. Here we're having the snow ahead of time again. We're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you what I'm talking about again. We're gonna be seeing some snow out here coming in, and this is all gonna be from this cold air coming from Canada with meeting with this moisture and a, a really heat from the gulf coast and that's obviously going to meet up with some snow throughout montana again it's going to be very scattered in the higher elevations of course we can have a couple suburbs all the way to montana seeing some snow but it won't become a big big deal anytime soon uh, not until the next 40 42 hours really again we're seeing extremely heavy snow though coming towards billings montana bozeman helena yellowstone national park it's going to be avoiding boise and then again Next 36 hours, we're still seeing the snow really uh, scattered, not really major. It's not really anything new. Still seeing that snow maybe going all the way to Casper, Wyoming. Billings, Montana, still getting some snow. Maybe all the way to Nevada. So Nevada looks like they can get snow. Yesterday did not show snow for Nevada, but now, uh, again, it's going to be very light, this snow. So, as of course, we're going to be seeing a lot of precipitation and snowfall totals because it's going to be lasting up to 36 hours in the exact same areas. So that's really the only reason why we'll be seeing very heavy snow and also it's going to be very cold. So definitely going to stick immediately. But after the next 36 hours, we have two defined low pressure systems, which is what we need to have a big snowstorm. Right after the next low pressure systems, we see them pop up. Look at what happens in the next 40, six hours later after the low pressure systems pop up, it completely changes, leaving the Sierras and leaving areas into the Western Rockies immediately. And it's going to become a very organized system. So by Thursday, we're going to be seeing incredibly heavy snow early in the morning. Very heavy snow throughout Salt Lake City. Extremely heavy snow throughout western, uh, sorry, for eastern Wyoming and western South Dakota. For Rapid City, uh, Cheyenne, Casper, Wyoming. The whole state of Wyoming will be seeing some snow. And we're also going to be seeing a huge threat for ice developing early on this system. And... And that's going to become a threat for North Dakota and South Dakota. So something very 
Uh, so I mean, we really don't want to need to see a lot of ice right now. It's April. You guys are thinking, oh, it's over. We're done. We're way into spring. We're not going to get anything. But the fact that this ice is going to be a lot worse than most snowstorms in the middle of the winter and this one is definitely a worry because most people are not going to be taking it seriously saying it's April and there can be multiple power outages, wrecks, and a lot more. In the next 48 hours, this becomes a monster storm. So this is definitely a monster. Going to bring in blizzard conditions for you, uh, Valentine, Rapid City, uh, Fargo. You guys will be seeing some snow. Aberdeen, you guys will be seeing, uh, sorry, uh, Fargo and Aberdeen, you guys will be seeing this ice. If you're in the purplish and pink color, sleet and freezing rain, that's where we'll be seeing. We'll, that's what we'll be seeing there. Continuing to see the snow piling on for much of Wyoming. Almost the whole state will be seeing incredibly heavy snowfall. This will be stretching all the way from Canada all the way to southwestern Utah. By the next 60 hours into Friday morning, this does not get any better. The ice actually becomes a lot thicker of a layer. That's going to bring in a ton of ice for Sioux Falls, uh, much of western Minnesota, getting to North Platte, uh, and much of central Nebraska. Still seeing that snow hanging on out there for Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, maybe getting closer and closer to Colorado, possibly bring some snow for Denver late in the, late in the storm. This ice will convert into incredibly heavy snowfall and possibly blizzard conditions for Aberdeen, Michelle, Fargo, and many other areas. And continuing to see very heavy snow for Rapid City, Bismarck, Perio, uh, Valentine. You guys continue to see some very heavy snow all the way by the all the way by the end of a Friday. Continuing to see a big threat, and this is looking like it's going to become a bigger threat now for Iowa, even Kansas. Kansas has been added to the threat. And look how bad this ice is, guys. It's going to be affecting millions, including out there all the way, possibly affecting central, uh, the whole the whole area up to Minnesota, seeing a ton of ice. Not that one part of the state. Sioux City, uh, Nebraska, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, and Omaha, you guys can be seeing some ice all the way up into central Kansas. Will we start seeing a snow, uh, snow uh, fall and snow uh, it's still going to die down a little bit, but still going to bring very uh, a really good pace of snow uh, again for Omaha, Sioux Falls, Sioux City, and much of western uh, Minnesota. Even by Friday in the evening, still seeing that snow from Minneapolis, Rochester, Duluth, and then it'll be gone really all the way gone by Saturday. So this is definitely a long lasting system. Next 42 hours again, still seeing this very organized at 998 millibars. Uh, blizzard conditions will be likely for western Nebraska. Almost the same exact areas where we've been seeing blizzards throughout this whole year, right in this little area. This is what we'll be seeing. This is where we've been seeing the most uh, amount of blizzards this year by far, especially out there near Cheyenne. Seeing again very heavy snow, Perio, Rapid City, Valentine. A cast for Wyoming Cheyenne, and then by later into Thursday, this is definitely a monster system. This could definitely be in the top five uh, biggest snowstorms of the year, and it's going to be finishing off this year. Perio, Valentine, again, like I said, Rapid City, getting all the way closer into north uh, near uh, near Detroit Lakes, uh, Minnesota. See, start seeing that snow and ice out there near Aberdeen, still seeing very heavy snow out there all the way into northwestern Colorado. This does not get any better as we go on through Friday. It's actually going to be strengthening for central South Dakota, strengthening for western Nebraska, and even getting all the way towards uh, Denver, Colorado, and Colo Colorado Springs. And again, you're continuing to see this major ice threat. It's a really big and serious threat. It's going to bring in a ton of freezing rain. Uh, for Seuss, uh, much of northwestern Iowa, almost all of almost all of Minnesota, we'll be seeing at some point this really strong band throughout western, central, and eastern. Extremely heavy snow now. This is possibly will be seeing the worst of the snowfall throughout areas such as Aberdeen, uh, Grand Forks, Fargo, uh, North Platte, uh, maybe even out there into Sioux City. That's in Sioux Falls. That's probably uh, by Friday in the afternoon. That's probably seeing the heavy snowfall. And then it will be going really fast now at a fast pace, moving towards Minneapolis now, uh, Sioux City, moving towards now, getting close to Waterloo. Very heavy snow likely for uh, for Eau Claire, 
Minneapolis, Rochester, Twin Cities, Duluth, and maybe even bring some snowfall getting closer to Mass, Wisconsin, and hanging on for Waterloo. And then potentially, like I said, bring snow from Marquette and then being gone by. Maybe not being gone all the way till Sunday. Now we're we'll looking at snowfall totals, and they're quite crazy still. Um, again, with the 36-hour uh, period of this scattered snowfall, the snowfall totals will be very high. Uh, look at north central Idaho seeing a, poten a potential of seeing 11 plus inches of the snowfall. Uh, snowfall totals have gone down a little bit now. Uh, it's only showing maybe 5 to maximum 15 inches throughout Yellowstone National Park. Again, uh, near bit uh, for Bozeman up to 5 8 inches. Uh, near Helena, 3 to 6 inches. Billings, 1 to 4 inches. Uh, looks like Denver has now been added to the 1 to 2 inch range, and snowfall totals are getting a bit higher throughout Colorado, a bit more widespread. Still maintaining the two to six inch range, uh, mainly two to three inches. Uh, snowball totals throughout all the way from Rapid City to Casper, Wyoming, also staying very high. Uh, seeing a five to nine inch range for Casper and then for Rapid City, nine to 12 inches. Perio, seeing that three to seven inch range out there, one to three inches out there for Cheyenne. Uh, seeing all the way near Fargo have gone up a lot. Snowfall totals getting close to climbing up to 8 inches. And for Grand Forks, 3 to 5. Bismarck, 3 to 5 inches of snowfall. Snow totals have gone up a little bit throughout Minneapolis, going up to 2 to 3 inches. Uh, again, snow totals are getting a lot more widespread. Uh, throughout Nebraska, getting closer and closer for some snowfall getting towards uh, the eastern half of Nebraska. Now we'll be looking at the GFS here, and this is also showing uh, it's there, the models aren't incredible, aren't disagreeing a lot, uh, but there's still major differences like Minnesota and South Dakota, even Wyoming. We're still seeing uh, it's getting a bit closer, but still not 100%. Again, still uh, showing for the GFS possibly close to three feet of snowfall for Wyoming, and that's the biggest difference by far. It's a two foot difference, really. Uh, between the GFS and the European. Good thing is not a lot of people live there, but still, uh, still possibly seeing that 24 to 36 inch range for uh, for Casper, Wyoming, 7 to 12 inches likely. Cheyenne, 3 to 5 inches. Northwestern Colorado in the higher elevations, 8 to 14 inches. Uh, Denver, 2 to 4 inches of snowfall. Uh, actually, really like Colorado Springs might get a lot more snowfall than Chicago uh, for than uh, Denver this time. Uh, again, it is so showing a couple areas scattered 6 to 12 inches throughout much of Idaho. We are seeing a big increase in snowfall throughout northwestern uh, uh, Nebraska, now going up to 7 to 13 inches of snowfall. Perio is now seeing a chance for 10 to 12 inches. Uh, uh, just west of Rapid City, seeing a 14 inch range. Rapid City here only showing maybe 4 to 7, maybe 8 inches. Uh, looks like for much of central Nebraska, 3 to 6 inches. Uh, we are possibly seeing some measurable snowfall for Des Moines and Waterloo. Maybe one to three inches throughout these areas. Maybe measurable snowfall getting closer and closer in Mass and in Eau Claire. Looks like Aberdeen will be seeing up to possibly 12 plus inches. Uh, looks like Grand Forks and you guys seeing maybe at three to four inches. And uh, uh, Detroit Lakes into far north central Minnesota seeing that possibly seven to 13 inches of snowfall. I hope you got through the video and bye guys.